Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Hope you all are doing good. In this video tutorial, I was going to discuss about how to get SharePoint list items count by using the Power Automate flow. So, let's begin this topic. Open your SharePoint site with your Microsoft credentials and, and I have opened my SharePoint site. In this, I have the SharePoint list named product list. Here, I wanted to find about the list items count in this list. So, for that, let me open the Power Automate. For the Power Automate, to navigate to Power Automate, type make.powerautomate.com in the browser. If you have already logged in with your Microsoft credentials, it will directly navigate to the Power Automate homepage. Now you can see Power Automate homepage has been displayed. Now let's create a flow how to find or how to get the item count in the SharePoint list. For that, let's create a Power Automate flow. Uh, click on create. Let's create an instant cloud flow. Select Instant Cloud Flow. Provide a flow name. If you want, you can also provide a flow name in the Flow Studio and select the trigger as manually trigger a flow and click on Create. Toggle the button of New Designer. To convert the Flow Studio to Classic Designer version. Now manual trigger flow has been added. Now manually trigger a flow has been added to the Flow Studio. And uh, now let's add a get items flow action. Why this Power Automate get items flow action is useful means it retains all the list items from the SharePoint with all the columns and the values present in it. So we now want the items count. So we wanted to get the items from the SharePoint list. By default, it will only returns 100 items from a SharePoint list. But we can set that count based on our requirement in the Power Automate get items flow action. So let's add the get items flow action here. In the get items, select site address and list name. Now let's take the compose flow action. For retrieving of the item count in the SharePoint list that I have shown here, let's take the length function in inputs of compose. For that, click expression and take length within brackets. Select the dynamic content. And from the dynamic content, select value of list of items from the get items. So after giving the expression, click OK. As it is a manually trigger flow, test it manually. Save and test the flow. Select manually and click on test. Now when we open the compose flow action, when we open the compose outputs, we can see the value written from length output, length function, item count that is present in the product list. So let me edit the flow and go back to the SharePoint list. If, if now I wanted to find out the item count which have product availability as available. So in that case we can give the 
filter query condition. In the get items, we can find the filter query and we can provide filter query condition here to get the item count of product availability as available. You can also check out for the filter query video tutorials in our YouTube channel. If you are not aware of get items filter query conditions for giving the filter query, we need the internal name of list column. For taking the internal name, I was going back to the SharePoint list and sort the field from A to Z and in the URL, we can find the internal name which is next to the sort field is equals to. So copy the internal name and in the filter query, place the internal name space eq operator and within single course provide the value as available because as we want product availability as available so it will filter out all the list items which have product availability as available and the compose outputs and the compose inputs has the length function so it will give the item count which are available So let me save the flow and test it. Click on test, select manually and click test button. Click on run flow, done. Now the flow ran successfully. And when we open the compose outputs, we can see the output received from it as 8 because in the SharePoint list, the list items of product availability has only 8 items. So it gave us back the 8 items count in the SharePoint list. This is how to get the items count in a SharePoint list by using the Power Automate flow through the get items flow action. For more video tutorials on SharePoint Online, Power Apps, Power Automate and Power BI, like, share, subscribe and click on the bell icon of our YouTube channel. Thank you. Have a nice day. See you in the next video.